plumbing. Garrett, just work it in the hands really good. Again, on this side of the hair where we're parting it, you can even use your pomade or gel, whatever you use, to kind of go to direct it forward here. Get it in the front nice and good. So you have, you're going to have some residue on your hands. Leave the residue. Don't wash it off. I'm going to show you why. Get it, work it in. Not just on the, not just on the top layer, but you want to get in to the, to the, I mean almost to the scalp because you want this product to stay and just not be on the top here. Work it in, keep the residue. Residue is good on your hand, you'll, you'll see why. So what I do typically, because pomade stiff sometimes, I just mist the hair and use it again, it's a regular styling comb. And where we part, it's so much easier with product. You're able to see all the lanes it creates here. There's a there's a there's a point where your temple meets like a temple peak point where it meets your forehead. So where your forehead meets your temple, so where your hair is growing in this this direction and meets the corner. That's where I like to part the hair. For some reason it looks the best, it looks more natural. Again, combing the hair forward. You can go lower. You can go. You can go part way up here. It's just like my preference. Again, smashing the base of the comb on, on the back. Same here. So many guys uh, that I cut their hair like, man, I'm not able to do this at home. I always have a crooked part. It takes practice, for sure. It's not a. It's not like a first try. We're able to see that the part comes out a lot straighter. And you want to go all the way back to the cowlick here to give it just that old school um, gentleman's haircut look. Hold this down. In the front here, we're going to kind of concentrate on pumping it up a little bit. Whatever the preference is. Some guys don't like it as high, some guys like it with a lot of volume. You know, the reason why I said to keep that residue on your hand is I take the residue, spray a little bit of water in my hand, and I use it to really define and flatten this part area to just make it pop. A lot of guys are going in and doing hard parts. Those are cool too. You can do that. It helps your client uh, go home and re reproduce the same look with a lot less work. I, I like natural parts myself, but it's, it's still real crispy, straight, that's all that matters. Sometimes when you use a, a comb, it creates a lot of lines and it looks too perfect. So, so what I'll do when I get the shape and the style, get it the way I want it, I use a brush to, to break it up. So it looks a little more natural. Depending on the way you want to look, if you're going out, you're dressed up, bow tie the whole nine yards, you may want to be very clean, uh, dapper looking. Say, say you're not doing all that, just want to brush through it. And if you really want to get more casual, you, you can, I like to do this in the front, just kind of use my hand. So it gives it more of a natural look. You can comb it, you can brush it, whatever you want to do.